Welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Venkata Krishnan, Professor of Medicine. We are going to discuss a very important topic about acute coronary syndrome. There is often a confusion. What are the components of acute coronary syndrome? Coronary artery disease is definitely different from acute coronary syndrome. The talk will cover the aspects of pathophysiology, clinical features and how do you assess and manage a patient with acute coronary syndrome. What are the components of coronary circulation? Why we need to know coronary circulation is most of the symptoms and signs or a few specific territory. If you see left coronary has a few definite signs and right coronary has a separate signs which is different from a left coronary involvement and if it is near total occlusion of left main or right main, it is definitely different and how is it different we will be learning from this if you can see left coronary, circumflex, very important and LAD. These are the three major left vessel. Right system, if you see right coronary, marginal artery and posterior descending artery. You can see the collaterals developing and how there is connections from the left and the Right, this we always know. What is the important? The blood supply of SA node. If we can see major vessels we described that is left circumflex, LAD and RCA. SA node is supplied by RCA in 85 percent of patients and LCX in the remaining patients. LAD has no role for the SA node. What is the significance of this? That means, if there is a right coronary occlusion, SA node, that is arrhythmias and blocks will be common in contrast to left coronary system. Supply is what? What are the components and right coronary supplies RV, RA, SA node, AV node, this is very important. That is why you get bradycardia heart blocks in a right coronary system occlusion. In contrast, there is a sympathetic activity and arith ventricular arrhythmias you get in left coronary involvement and it supplies the posterior and inferior wall of LV. RV, if you see right ventricle supplies, if there is a major coronary occlusion, right coronary occlusion, it goes for a RV infarction. RV infarction as a specific management we will discuss during the assessment and management of CAD. Next if you see what are the components of acute coronary syndrome, that is what it is. Coronary artery disease is different from acute coronary syndrome. Unstable angina, non ST elevation MI and MI. These are the three components of acute coronary syndrome. Stable angina is a part of CAD, not acute coronary syndrome. What is the pathophysiology? We will discuss. So, whatever the patient presents, if there is a ST segment elevation or a non ST elevation, non ST elevation could be unstable angina or non ST elevation MI, ST segment is STEM and needs a proper history physical examination, ECG, and you should do a acute reperfusion to prevent further myocardial injury. Pathophysiology, very important is coronary atherosclerosis. We all know atherosclerosis is the initial stage followed by plaque rupture. What is this coronary vasospasm? Prince metal angina. We classically get in usually with a drug addict, especially cocaine. The symptoms are almost for MI and ECG shows ST elevation. What is the difference? We will discuss. Coronary thrombosis again, atherosclerosis, 
atherosclerotic plaque rupture followed by coronary thrombosis. So, risk factors is uh, we know modifiable and non modifiable risk factors, but what we should know is unusual causes that is inflammation. You can work up for inflammation with high sensitive CRP. We will be discussing about the assessment of the patient. Inflammation also contributes apart from modifiable and non modifiable risk factors, which we are not going to discuss much. This is a very important picture where the pathophysiology is clearly evident with this picture. If you see stable angina, intermittent claudication, where there is atherosclerosis, there is no fixed occlusion. It is only a atherosclerosis which is progressing to a thrombus. That is what I told you, coronary thrombosis. What happens when there is a thrombus? You can see this followed by a plaque rupture. 